My name is Eli Pastor. I'm the CEO of Polyjewel. Uh, Polyjewel creates energy storage for the grid and the grid edges. Polyjewel's roots are deeply founded at MIT. It comes from a long-standing collaboration between Professor Ian Hunter in the Department of Mechanical Engineering and Tim Swagger in the Department of Chemistry. And the original idea back before grid energy storage was even on the minds of, of Tesla or NEC or NextEra was, let's build a very low cost battery that everyone can afford and it will sit in the basement of everyone's home. There were several technological and commercial breakthroughs that pointed us to essentially turning the idea into reality. The first one happened in 2017 when we doubled and then doubled our energy density again. And so we reached the energy density of lead acid. The second was closer to 2018, 2019, where we anticipated this tidal wave of energy storage starting to be adapted to the grid. And what we're seeing now in 2020 is massive amounts of energy storage being added to renewables and grid edge applications. So we anticipated it by about 12 to 18 months. The core technology of Polyjewel really is rooted in its chemistry. Uh, we do everything throwing out the rules of existing lithium ion batteries. We don't want to use lithium, we don't want to use cobalt, and we don't want to use lead or any metal for that matter, because we want a low cost battery that's uh, safe and affordable. So we start with the periodic table of organic elements. And from there we derive what works at economies of scale, what is easy to converge and convert chemically. And from that, we design our, our battery materials, essentially our anode, our cathode, our electrolyte. And taking that system level approach, married to a high throughput analytical and electrochemical chemistry, we have essentially pinpointed a single cell design based on 10,000 trials that makes a very good battery for the home that meets that criteria. Low cost, uh, safe, and long lifetime. We've got a technology that will meet all the criteria of the grid, and on top of that, it's easier to deploy. So you don't need massive capital infrastructure overhaul, which translates to a lot of money, uh, in order to transform the grid at its edges and work towards the center. You need high power, need a long lifetime, and you need a safety footprint in order to follow that sort of distributed energy storage model. And that's our sweet spot. That's where our technology fits right in. Our first customer is an industrial distributed energy consumer. And the most interesting thing about their power consumption curve is that they've got a baseline energy consumption and then twice a day when their heavy machinery turns on, their power consumption goes up by a factor of 10. This type of application is translatable to wastewater treatment, it's translatable to food processing, it's translatable to server farms that see an inflow of traffic surge. Um, and so what we look for in the ideal client is essentially this fluctuation in power consumption over a 24 hour period, because unlike lithium and unlike lead, polyjewel batteries can actually deliver the high power peaks over shorter durations without sacrificing safety and without sacrificing lifetime. So it's the, the first deployment is actually a perfect product market fit. And it really is uh, very close to a mirror image of a whole bunch of industrial high power sporadic applications that happen all over the world. Polyjewel's thrilled to be part of the current Stex 25 cohort and our relationship with MIT's industrial liaison program has actually gone back uh, several years. What we find from ILP is that there's this large connection of highly advanced companies that are looking for new ideas, uh, looking to brainstorm and bounce ideas off the wall, and also present opportunities for pilots, collaborations, future customers, or potential use cases. The conversations themselves with these companies and the networking opportunities are invaluable 
Um, and really to MIT and ILP's credit, uh, having that avenue to get to higher level discussions on the first or second call uh, speaks volumes. With regards to STEX 25, it's this incredible sort of cohort of startups run by a group of people that have seen a whole bunch of ways to do things right and a whole bunch of ways to do things wrong and also sort of light a flame under the individual startups and say, this is a good way to deploy. So we see Stex 25 as sort of the shepherds. We see ILP as the forest and it's Polly Jules sort of the onus is on us to run as quickly and as smartly as we can using those two resources to get uh, more customers, uh, more proof points, more collaborations and faster technological advancement. So it really is the perfect storm.